All right, let's check in with Sean for the latest on your forecast. So this time yesterday, we were at 101. We were at 101, and we were looking at, you know, 106, and then we hit 107. Yeah. And Mother Nature says, eh, no. <laughs> not today. I'm going to give you You're a break. You're not guessing me. <laughs> I'll pick uh, whatever I want. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be hot. We're looking at a possibility for showers out to the north of us and to the west of us. And believe it or not, some of the cloud cover associated with a little frontal boundary has temperatures at this hour in the 70s. We'll get to all of that in just a second. Let's go outside. First of all, I'll show you where the rain is occurring. A couple of uh, small-scale issues and then some large-scale uh, discussion on what we're having. Uh, you see a few showers up to the north of us, up uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, a few showers stretching down to Waco, and then heads out west, drops out over the hill country, and then a few showers out by Junction earlier. Well, it's a little frontal boundary that's draped through the area, not well-defined right now, and certainly not defined by a line of showers, but there is a bit of cloud cover associated with it. And then to the south and out into the western part of the Gulf, really, I guess you could say the northwestern uh, edge of the Gulf, near anywhere from Brownsville to Corpus Christi. We've got some showers there. Hurricane Center said they were watching that, but it looks like it's just going to be a big rainstorm for the folks down that way, not to anything for us. The temperatures are off, just awesome for the uh, situation today. But real quick, the rain that we had accumulated across the area, uh, mainly to the south of Austin. We had a couple of spots in Austin that picked it up. Not enough, though, for uh, folks that put out burn bans to uh, go ahead and call a burn ban for Travis County. And you can see that uh, we did have some nice rain amounts. For, again, further south, down towards San Marcos, some very heavy rainfall and wind damage as well. Hurricane Danielle, latitude 19.6 north, longitude 52.3 west. That has uh, winds right now at 85 miles per hour, gust to 104, moving west-northwest at 15 miles per hour. The path continues to take it to the northwest and then to the north as it goes, say, Category 2. Obviously a ferocious storm, but it is not likely to do anything to the coast, uh, the, the U.S. anyway. Maybe uh, in heightened, uh, you know, swells and tides will be affected. Maybe some bands of showers if it happens to get a little closer, but nothing more than that. 88 degrees right now. We typically are about 10 degrees warmer this hour. Winds out of the north, though, at 13 miles per hour. Humidity, 54 percent. We got to 107. Both sites surrounded by extreme heat. This morning, it was nice. Had some 70s, cool 70s out to the west, and a couple of 80s. Had a little cloud cover. I think some of the uh, cloud cover may have held some of the heat in from yesterday. No heat advisories, though. Statewide, we have that front. I showed you the rainfall. There's a little bit of cloud cover, and that's what's keeping the temperatures from rising. Good news there. A little bit of uh, cloud cover will continue to do that. We just don't see a whole lot of rain out of the forecast over the course of tomorrow and Friday. It looks like some rain is possible, though, into the weekend and beyond. 96 the high today, and that's where it's not sunny. Obviously, in the Hill Country, in the 70s, it's beautiful out that way. 73 degrees, the overnight low, maybe some upper 60s, and our seven day forecast, pretty straightforward. Looking for a chance for showers today. Minimal, high of 96, hot and dry next couple of days, maybe 100 on Friday, maybe. And then after that, we'll drop the 100s and add a chance for rain at 30%. Morning lows in the 70s.